thank you for coming. I'm good. Thanks for having me. I heard this was not your this is not your first time here. It's not. I've been there. You've and been now in I'm the here. audience. Yeah, yeah, it's very exciting. How long ago? Um, I was 17, like 10 years ago. 10 years ago. Yeah, kind of crazy. And you, and who was on the show? Do you remember? I do. Um, because it was Ben McKenzie, and I was a huge fan of the OC. Oh yeah, you sure. You know, I was a teenager in the early 2000s. Yeah, no, you don't have to explain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ben McKenzie was here. Oh, very good. All right. Well, there you go. Well, that's yeah. something. Maybe that's inspirational to maybe one person in the audience tonight will become a big acting star. <laughs> You're from what part of Australia? I'm from Sydney. Sydney, Australia. Yeah. And I, this is a question that I will traditionally ask Australian guests when okay. they are on the show for the first time. Have you ever thrown a boomerang? I have. You have? Yeah. And did it work? Did it come back? No. It did not. <laughs> So that's not a magical ability you're all born with. I don't think I was doing it right. Mm -hmm. you, oh, really? Yeah, well, you must not have been doing it right if it didn't go I don't back. even know how to throw a Frisbee. It's a bad <laughs> thing to give me anything. What is the dumbest thing Americans ask you? Because I know we like to ask questions about other countries, and we know yeah. very little about any of them. You know, I, I'm going to, yeah, not comment on that, but, um, uh -huh. OK. I know that it's true, because I'm one of us, yes. <laughs> I, I was at Disneyland, and uh, someone did ask me, like, so, wait, why, why is it cold there right now? It's summer. And I was like, no, 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 our seasons are opposite. And they're like, wow, wow, so it's, it's like December there? And I'm like, no, it's June. It's June. And they thought that literally, like, the months were the same as the season. It was... Mm. Were you sure this wasn't Disney World? You weren't in Florida? <laughs> you think so. You think so. <laughs> when did you move to L.A.? Uh, 2010. Okay, so you were just ago. a kid when you moved here. Yeah, I was 18. Did it take you a while to acclimate? Yes. Yeah. It did. I, you know, you kind of think, like, you grew up watching American television, and I'm from Australia. It's not totally crazy different. But my foot, I didn't know anyone when I moved out here, and I moved in with this girl I met once. I was living in Hollywood. And we're in oh, Hollywood right around now. Here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right yeah. around the corner from here. And I remember um, Skyping my parents my first month because I, I walked in the door and this, the street was like eerily silent. And so I looked out the window and then all of a sudden there were these two cop cars blocking off the street. And I was like, they weren't there two minutes ago when I just walked home. And then the next thing I know, there's a helicopter overhead shining a light down these two guys and there are police coming out of bushes with guns drawn. And I was like, what? Where am I? And my dad's like, okay, it's fine. Keep calm. I'm pretty sure they were like, why did we let you leave? Yeah, no <laughs> like, kidding, right? <laughs> it was kind of, yeah. It, wow. Yeah. And what was going on? Did you ever find I out? No idea. No idea. No idea. That kind of happened like three times in the first, like, three months. And none of the superheroes outside helped you? No. <laughs> none of them. Why? It's really, when you really need them, they're just They just like, never show up. Yeah, they're yeah. in Starbucks or something like that. <laughs> Wow, so yeah, you've had it quite a year, and like everything's on yeah. Netflix. You're like exclusive I, to Netflix somehow. I don't know how that happened. I, yeah, I had like two Netflix things come out back to back, and all of a sudden it's like Netflix. Yeah, me. two huge Netflix things. Uh, yeah. In fact, yeah. Yeah, and I worked with your wife. You, oh, yeah, my wife had a little part in, <laughs> yeah. in Dumplin' as well. Yeah. yeah. yeah That's yeah. right. Yeah, that was a lot of fun for us. And so. Oh, <laughs> Um, so, um, okay, so now you live here permanently. You're not in Hollywood anymore, right? No, no. Although, I'm, I'm just in West Hollywood now, so... You're, okay, <laughs> you've moved slightly moved, like, away, from the, away from the gunfire. This new, <laughs> this new show that you're on, this mini-series, is based mm -hmm. on a true story. Yes. Uh, heavy stuff, right? It is. Yeah. It is. It is intense. Um, it's basically about... Uh, it's a true story. And it is about these two detectives who track down a serial rapist. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yeah. Yes. And those maybe those were the guys running on the street, no? I mean, it happened in Colorado, so I'm going to say no, oh, but okay. sure. Yeah, yeah that's a long imagine. run, yeah. It could have happened. Long run. <laughs> it is a long run. <laughs> well, it's great to have you here and here instead of there. And, uh, you know, and, and, and congratulations on... All your uh, Netflixy success. It's thank you. It comes out tomorrow. It premieres on Netflix. It's called Unbelievable. Danielle McDonald, everyone. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and I am not allowed to eat this cookie until you click the subscribe button. So please click now. I'm hungry.